Guys, I think I just found the most interesting item in Lajna Bookstore. And this is the stone paper. Or like rock paper. I'm kidding. I just think it looks pretty cool based on the packaging. Like as you can see here are cool colors and the envelope actually is also made out of rocks. Let's try out multiple art supplies on this paper. As you can see here, the rock paper is tree free, acid free, waterproof, less CO2, or carbon dioxide, far redundant, photodegradable, high tear strength, grease proof, and less paper cuts. So now what I'm going to test out is the waterproof and the high tear strength. I'm interested in that and the grease proof and yeah that's about it so let's open this up this is from prestige paper products and set your ideas in stone <laughs> all that means rock paper is a great environmental alternative to traditional paper and plastic sheets let's see about the high tear strength i want to test that one. Oh no it actually just stretches but if i try to do that thing yeah i tear it out but as you can see it, it almost feels like clothes yeah you can see you can still tear it like that but it has no tooth in it it has no layers as you can see if how thin it is yeah let's test this one out with lots of different markers and art supplies but let's look at the packaging and uh, it says that it's durable versatile and ideal for outdoor applications great for pencils markers and paper cutting but it is not suitable for desktop printing yeah let's try pencils markers and paper cutting on this so let's try these art supplies in here First is a pencil. It actually feels smooth because it has soft teeth and you can see that you can smudge the pencil and maybe let's try erasing it. Oh, it feels like regular paper but as you can see when I'm doing this, the paper don't doesn't budge. It won't tear and it erases completely then let's try this red doesn't really budge or anything also let's try oh when i push it down harder that's weird but if i do it lightly and let's try erasing it there's marks on it, like it doesn't come off because of the dents that I have created on this paper. So as you can see here, there are some marks that left when it's too sharp. Actually, you can still erase it if you press harder and it's like you're going with the strokes that you did and please excuse my nails because they're kind of dirty from oil pastels so yeah let's now try colored pencils for this one i'm going to use my derwent colored pencils and i've also reviewed them on my channel if you want to check it out oh there are <laughs> molds on the colored pencils already because i'm living in a humid country so yeah that's kind of gross but let's try to pick maybe pink it has check texture in here like the marks that i have created that's actually cool but on the smooth part of the paper kind of looks like crayons if i try to layer it with other colored pencils this one let's try a gray i mean it kind of blends but the texture just oh maybe it's because <laughs> it has texture because of the texture of my table i'm sorry for that 
Oh, it doesn't have any texture. So that's actually kind of interesting. If you want to have some textures, you can just put it on a texture table or a texture surface. That's kind of cool to experiment with. But as you can see here, it is smooth. It's not like this. And if I try it harder, yeah, it's pretty smooth. Just like um, um, an illustration board. It's just like that. But the weird thing is that it actually granulates. As you can see here. That's, it's like it's fighting against the colored pencil. And it's kind of weird. And if I try to layer this grip. Yeah, it, it kind of blends. Just kind of, not entirely. But yeah, it kind of blends. It kind of works. Yeah, you can't layer that much for colored pencils, I think. If you press it down too hard, you can't layer too much. And yeah, it's. I don't think it's really suitable for doing realistic uh, things if you want to blend it out. It's just on the paper. It doesn't go in it. So now I'm going to use markers for this one. So let's try just a normal waterproof marker. So let's put the word marker. It's smooth and it actually dries fast. Let's try. It's not completely smudge proof but as you can see there's like little to no effect of smudging when you accidentally smudge your hand on there. Yeah, it dries so fast. And I also want to try a highlighter. Maybe this one. This is a brush highlighter. Oh, it's juicy in here. That's, <laughs> that's actually satisfying. Oh, this could be fun. It's like you can see that it doesn't dry fast, so it's still juicy and wet. Yeah, let's try blending it with another highlighter maybe. Let's try orange. And let's see if it goes brown. The orange looks pale because the ink is just sitting there. Oh, that's pretty. Let's try the word brush. It's so smooth. It still won't dry. As you can see here, it still smudges. And... Uh, yeah, it's a long process to wait for it to dry. Maybe we can try this one. This is the stained marker. Uh, this is applicable for fabrics. So let's try it on the rock. It doesn't also dry fast. This Tombow dual brush pens. That's kind of pretty. We'll use a green and a brown for this one. Let's do an ombre actually blends you have to do it fast if you want to blend the colors because as you can see here there's like the meeting of the colors doesn't look nice i like this blend better than this one this upper stroke part this upstroke part doesn't look quite good compared to the other blending so if you're going to blend thin lines you have to do it more quickly but yeah it's doable to blend markers on this paper i haven't used this touch new markers for so long these are alcohol markers yeah i don't know if they still have ink in them so yeah let's see kind of smooth in here and let's see for the fine one actually you can get smooth thin lines on this one with an upstrokes and you'll try it in downstrokes and if you try to layer it on to itself it actually layers well it dries so fast see dang it's kind of cool so yeah maybe alcohol markers are better on this paper than the water-based markers and maybe let's try layer layering them on each other let's try this oh oh it still activates the bottom layer it's like it 
it wipes it clean but there's the ink sitting on these edges and it kind of looks amazing for textures but if you are trying to layer this you have to do it so lightly as to not disturb the bottom layers you can actually remove the ink on there but it's going to sit on the edges yeah i wonder if how many minutes will it take for the drying process so i have tried the colored pencils the markers we can actually try the paper cutting yeah let's test this one out by i guess just doing this oh it's smooth like I can glide throughout it. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty smooth to use for cutting. For me, I think it has passed the marker test and the paper cutting test, but not so much throughout the pencils. I mean, so one of the most common art supplies that you can actually use is a ball pen. So I'm going to test this out if it smudges it this is a gel pen it smudges it is still wet i don't think a gel pen is good for this but let's try out a normal pen it doesn't smudge at all this is the hardest one and then we'll go lighten it up lighten it up so yeah, I think you have good value differences on this paper by using normal ballpoint pens than gel pens. Uh, okay. But you can still erase the correction T. No, it doesn't. Okay, let's try some wild cards such as oil pastels and I have also used this in another video if you guys want to check it out. I have created, I think, a landscape there. Oh, it's so smooth but it kind of smudges around. Yeah, this is not good. It, it doesn't blend well. It's just on the top. Yeah, I can't recommend oil pastels on this paper. So I want to try the waterproof on this. And the only thing left to do is do this. Actually comes off the water-based markers. But the alcohol markers on the other hand. And also the fabric one. Sort of watercolor effect if you want to. It's like a plastic texture. Because as you can see here, when I put it on the oil pastel, it just sits on top. So let me try to... So let's try doing this. It has stained the paper for a little bit. As you can see here, it has some difference of the color. And you can still see the strokes that I did with Tombow. You can still see the word Tombow in it, but it's kind of faint so it's just like staining the paper now i'm going to try drawing using these markers so that i'd give it justice so let's try drawing something now i kind of have an idea of how it feels like it feels like i'm using whiteboard marker on whiteboard it actually feels like that now that i think of it i mean you can see the streaks in here the strokes and it sits on top of the paper that's crazy i don't actually care for the colors because i can just yeah i can do this adding some blush in here it's like wet acrylic i mean it kind of looks muddy at this point but you can still see the yellow underpainting. If it's still wet, I can smudge it. <laughs> oh no! My markers are not doing good. And I can go darker on this. Yeah, if you accidentally smudge any of your markers on the sides, as you can see here, 
just do this motion and yeah you can kind of get away with it the pinks are too saturated i guess oh it's smooth in here maybe let's try some sparkles just smudges what is like my final verdict for this paper i actually don't know i kind of know that only markers would be pretty cool on this paper overall doesn't have diversity i think it's still better to use paper normal paper rather than these rock papers if you guys want to watch more of my reviews or just chill talk you can subscribe like this video if you want to and you can maybe comment what are your thoughts on this paper thank you guys for watching bye